What's up guys? Welcome back to the Steel to Stone channel. So today I've got a special little piece in for the WorkSharp Precision Adjust Knife Sharpening. So this is a universal stone holder from Grid Gridomatic. And oh man, I'm so happy that they decided to come out with this. I was hoping that somebody would after I picked this up and, and realized its limitations and just having this uh -oh, the end piece come off of my stone holder there. Not a big deal. Just little plastic pieces, but this is the one that comes with it. And, you know, it works fine in a lot of ways, but it does have its limitations. So this just kind of goes together like that and slides up onto the rod. This little rubber boot holds it in place and you can use it to sharpen. It's got three different grid options, but that's the only options that you get with this. So those are definitely limitations. Um, this being only about a half inch wide also you know it can make it fairly easy to mess up the tip on a knife if you're not super confident or competent with a guided system a wider stone i feel like is better all around no matter what so those two things plus uh, i sharpen a lot of spider coats and with this stone holder when you're trying to sharpen a spider co knife uh, you can't get anywhere near that plunge grind with this because of the round sections on the edges of the stone that actually hits the plunge grind on the spider coat. You can see how mine's all scraped up right there. That's from hitting spider coat plunge grinds with the edges of this stone holder. <laughs> so those are the limitations of this in my mind. So I'm really happy that Gridomatic decided to come out with this universal stone holder. And from what I understand, these are made by Hapstone. Um, they're $21 or $22 on Gridomatic's website. They are sold out right now, so I apologize for that. But I'm sure they'll be getting more in stock soon. These are really popular. A lot of people are looking forward to picking one of these up. I suggest if you want one, go on Gridomatic's website, sign up for um, in stock product notifications, put your phone number in there, and they'll shoot you a text message when they get more of these in stock. Uh, I got a text message yesterday, I believe it was, or no, a couple of days ago, uh, when they came back into stock and was able to order one, so I was really happy with that. So I definitely recommend signing up for uh, in-stock product notifications from Gridomatic and, and putting your phone number in there if you want one of these or, or anything else that they sell. So <clears throat> pick this one up from there along with one of the beneath stones wasn't sure what route i wanted to go with what type of stones i wanted to buy for this i didn't have any so i just decided to get one beneath stone to try out for now with this uh, i have the phoenix series the 240 400 800 and 1200 grit stones the eight by three bench stones so i know these are great fantastic stones but i didn't want to buy the whole set yet until i kind of tried one out to see how it was going to work with this and, and how I liked it. Um, these are the Greater Dog Series stones, so they also offer the Dog Series, which is a four, also a 4-inch stone, but I think it's about half the width of this one, so it's more like a 3-quarter a inch stone instead of a 1.5-inch stone. It's either 3 quarters or, or 1 and a, or one inch, sorry, 3 quarters or 1 inch, where this one is almost 1.6 inches wide so this is a really wide stone and this will work great for you know the kme or this system right here with this universal stone holder with the rux and pro you could use it with that um, lots of different guided systems you could potentially use this with as well as just being a good pocket stone that you could use to sharpen freehand with if you want a cheap option for a veneve stone if you really want to try out some of these resin bonded diamond stones from Gridomatic, um, you can buy these individually like this. You don't have to buy a set of them. And this one was like 22 bucks. So I definitely recommend trying these out if you guys are interested and you don't really have the money to buy the whole set or you don't have the money to buy, you know, the big eight by three stones or you're just not sure if you want to purchase them without trying them out first. This is a good option where you could get two different grits of this type of stone for a freaking 20 bucks man and that's a hell of a deal so gonna try this one out and try to sharpen a knife with it real quick but let's talk about the stone holder real fast so this thing looks to be made out of aluminum 
it's four different pieces so you've got your rod here in the back that's made out of aluminum i assume it feels like aluminum at least and then you've got your spring uh -oh, it's gonna roll off the table so you've got your aluminum rod that's threaded on the end got a hole all the way through it so it can go up onto the rod and then you've got two pieces here that are also made out of aluminum and now they've anodized them so this is the the revision number two of this uh, from what I can tell they anodized it so that's definitely a change from the original that they made a month or so ago and then they've added this sort of ergonomic taper on the side I think I didn't see that before you guys can correct me if I'm wrong if it did have it before but I didn't think it had it on the first type of these that they made so basically that's all it is and uh, they've drilled it all the way through just like the the standard stone holder and I was looking at this slot earlier I was trying to figure out why they put that slot in there and then I realized oh you don't want to have to drill <laughs> through four inches of aluminum all the way through like that um, when you could just add this slot inside of here which would be quick and easy and then you only have to drill you know a half inch through on this side and about an inch on this side and that'll save you a lot of time and headache instead of drilling four inches straight through a, a piece of aluminum especially one as small and you know thin as this one is so good idea whoever designed this and then you've got your sort of dovetail cutouts on this uh, which I was kind of puzzled by I'm not exactly sure I looked but I couldn't find any four inch stones that actually have this sort of taper on the ends of them you guys let me know in the comments if there are some because honestly I would like to try those if there are some the only ones that I'm aware of are the ones for the edge pro systems and I thought all of those were six inches long but like I said you guys correct me if I'm wrong um, it says that these can be used with any four inch stone for like the KMEs or, or anything else and and these as well this is the one that they show in the video on Gridomatic that they're using with this system so that's the reason that I picked this one up is because I thought it would work well um, but there is one little limitation that I could potentially see with this and let me go ahead and show that to you guys so and this is not to criticize this in any way i think that this is a good design and they did a great job with it it's very inexpensive it's a fantastic deal for this system and gonna make a lot of a lot of people including myself happy but so you got your spring on there and that's what holds the stone in place so you put this on here pinch it put the stone in there and you know everything seems good to go the only downside I see to this is that, you know, this doesn't really hold this stone in there very tightly. Now, it's not a huge deal. I've already used this to sharpen one knife yesterday, um, or it started sharpening one knife with it. But I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't mind seeing this have a little bit more holding force in there. And with the dovetail sort of cut out, you know, if you just got that little thin section of the, the holder that's touching this stone on both sides. So um, maybe it would be better not to have that in there and you just have that solid section holding on to this stone and it would hold a little better. Or another thing you could probably do is find a spring that's this same exact size with a larger diameter wire <clears throat> that would make it a little bit stronger and kind of clamp this in a little bit tighter but nonetheless other than that I don't really have any criticisms for this and honestly it's not a criticism really it's just a, a thought that I had that I was kind of worried about when I first put this in here and you know I could feel it rocking around a little bit actually one more thing <laughs> that I wanted to look at was this hole right here so when I put this on the rod yesterday I noticed a, a little bit of slop in it leaning down so this hole it's about a 3 16 hole so a little over 190 thousand so the hole that's on this originally is 167 so it's a good 20 thousandths different not a huge deal but if we put this on here there's not a lot of play in there um, and I've seen some of these like squeak and things and kind of rub mine rubs in a certain position a little bit on this rod 
but you know you want that to be tight on that rod so that there's not a lot of play in there now if we put this on here in the same way there's a good bit of slop in there it's not a big deal like I say but I noticed when I was sharpening you can see this kind of that's a lot of movement that that thing can potentially move as you're trying to cut with it where this still has a little bit but nowhere near as much so not a huge deal I don't think it's gonna be a problem we're gonna try it out see how it does but um yeah, I just thought I would show that to you guys so that you'll have a full picture of what you're getting here if you buy one of these. So let's put this together and try it out. All right, so we're set up now. This should be matching because this is the knife I started with with this yesterday. So... And I like to just mark with a sharpie and then that'll tell us if we're matching pretty quickly without having to struggle to look at it at all. So let's try these bad boys out. Try out the stone holder and this Beneve stone all at the same time. I'm going to start on the 150 grit side, F150. And this is at, this is at 19 degrees, so this is... A little higher than what I normally do, but oh well. I'm just trying this out for now. Sorry about that glare on that light's glaring off a lot on this. It's matching pretty good on this side, which it should be. That's close enough. It's a little bit higher on this side, but not by very much. to lean the stone over to get that corner in real good. Which that slop there, that's if you're pressing down back here at the back of the stone holder, it's not a big deal because it kind of just locks it up in place. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just hold it at the back. And it'll sort of fix that angle for you. Trying to even out that spot that I messed up. Yeah, that looks okay. All right. Looks like we got a burr. 
come back to this side and you can you know you can push the button in the back of this and flip it which is probably the better way to do it but I always just pull the holder out of there which is probably wearing mine out prematurely but oh well This wider stone makes it a lot better. And this 150 grit beneath definitely cuts a lot faster than the 320 grit diamond that comes with this, especially after it's been used a handful of times. That thing wears down pretty quickly. So I love having this, knowing that it'll probably last me forever. And honestly, most of my edges nowadays, I just do a low grit, so I could just use this stone probably and and be good to go with this and not ever buy anything else. And that's a little bit different when you're talking about reprofiling and matching different angles, but that looks pretty doggone good right there cleaned up all the way across let's do a couple light deburring passes and you can do like stropping strokes to deburr if you're stopping on a uh, but you don't have to deburr on this stone you can just move on if you want to but I like to reduce the burr if I can you can do light stropping strokes or on this you can do like swiping just sort of swipe straight across and that works pretty good too uh, that feels good that feels like the burr came off for the most part there's still a little bit of one there but it's a lot smaller than it was just with those couple passes And that's what I mean by just swiping across. It kind of peels the burr off without cutting into the apex too much. Okay. So let's flip over to the 400 grit. And you can use water on these. They recommend you use water with them. It's just like a splash and go stone. Or you can use soap and water, which is what I normally use. And, you know, there's people that use oil as well. Just depends on what you want to use. Right now I'm not going to use anything. It's because I want to keep this clean so you guys can see it. But now that we've got our angle down and burr formed, it's the most important part. We can refine the scratch pattern, hopefully pretty easily and quickly. And I really like having this wider stone. I don't feel like I'm risking falling off the end of the tip as easily with this as I did with the other stone because once you get to the end with this one you know there's not a whole lot of room there and you need to go to the middle of the stone so that you actually cut the tip but it's really easy to fall off the tip and and damage your tip oh you guys can't even see that my bad <clears throat> with this right here you need to when you're cutting go all the way to the center of the stone so you're actually cutting the tip of the knife but with this, it's really easy to fall off the end. And with this stone that's, you know, about three times as wide, it's a lot easier to, to not fall off. So I like that a lot. And then we can see there, it's nice and clean looking, perfect. I mean, yeah, it doesn't get... <laughs> 
Doesn't get much better than a guided system edge. I mean, they just they're just perfect. Let's try this side. As you can see, that scratch pattern it's pretty deep and aggressive. Not too bad, but these Venev stones being bonded resin stones, they they don't leave super deep scratches, even the low grit. So that's a good thing. And just use light pressure with these you don't want to dig into the stones and this thing being made out of plastic it has a lot of play in it in different places so the more you know the lighter pressure you can use the more consistent everything's going to be and when you're done sharpening the better everything will look with this and once you get to the end the very end of the sharpening what i recommend with this particular system is that you use as light a pressure as possible and clean up that scratch pattern all the way across the edge on both sides make it as consistent as you can and then if you have to go back and do deburring strokes you can use that same amount of light pressure doing the deburring strokes And that'll help keep everything looking nice and uniform and you won't have a lot of angle changes from your deburring strokes. Hopefully it'll look nice and consistent. Because I have done it where I've used a little bit of pressure and got done, finished apex on a stone and then went to use really light pressure deburring and the angle would slightly change and it would mess up the... Uh, the aesthetic of the edge, if you will. This shouldn't take a whole lot. Of work. Get this burr off of here, I hope. about it there yeah that's pretty good so quick and easy 12 minutes to resharpen this there's your edge looks about not damn near perfect Nice hazy finish. Cut into my hand there. <laughs> so it's definitely sharp. Nice and sticky apex. Let's see. Well, let's take this out of the clamp. razor sharp so I would say this stone holder works really well and so does this stone I like this setup a lot I mean a whole lot um, 
has a couple little things like I said that worry me uh, this cut out here I think would be better if they even if they just offered an option where it was flat I think that would be cool too but honestly it's not that big of a deal seems to work okay the way that it is and that little slop I don't think is going to be too much of an issue either as long as you use the consistent amount of pressure on the same spot of the stone if you hold it up here hold it down if you hold it back here lift make it where it lifts up that way your angle doesn't change any because of that um, and then see you can still get a really consistent looking edge with it either way so it's pretty good not bad not bad good job gridomatic and hapstone and that's a sticky sticky edge let's see how sharp it really is real quick Whoa. moving my camera around That's nice. That's with no stropping. So, <laughs> it's pretty fantastic. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, found all that useful. We'll see you guys next time.